There are working families who are afraid of what lies ahead. I asked you to say very clearly what does a family do in the coming weeks and months when they get a notice to quit, when they are evicted? Where does that working family go? And I would like you to answer that Thank question, Taoiseach. Yeah. Yeah. Deputy, I answered your question. Perhaps you couldn't hear, me, hear the answer because you were too busy uh, shouting me down, or the people behind you were too busy shouting me down. The options, social housing, we're going to build more social housing than ever before. We're ramping up cost rental, that's another option. A third option is the fact that we're going to purchase 1,500 homes where the landlord is selling up into the social housing tent in situ. And fourth, we're developing a further budget package to help renters uh, and, help, and help landlords. But, but you know, Deputy, you know, you're, some of what you say, you know, you stood up there and you created a false narrative and another straw man. You said landlords are not to blame for the housing crisis, as if somehow anybody in the government bench has ever made that argument. You're the one who's been consistently demonising small landlords and institutional landlords, not us. So don't make that false argument. And Deputy, uh, you kind of make out that somehow uh, Sinn Féin will be able to solve this crisis. Look to, look to the north, and I know you hate when we talk about the north, but look to the north. Look to, look to, look to, no, let me finish, Deputy. Let me finish, Deputy. I know, you, I know you hate the truth. Look to the north, where we've had a Sinn Féin finance minister and a Sinn Féin housing minister. Do you know how much social housing you built in Northern Ireland last year? Do you know, Deputy? Under 2,000. In the last year, there was an assembly. Under 2,000. Much less per capita in this state. You say that the small landlords aren't to blame for the crisis. Fine. What's your proposal? You want to put an extra Plenty tax on small landlords to make it even worse. Stop it, you say you, you care about first-time buyers. What do you want to do? You want to, take away, the, the, you want to take away the help to buy scheme. This it is a serious issue. issue. And the reason why you consistently shout me yeah. down uh, when I try to answer your questions is because you can't handle the answers because you know they're true. Yeah. Debit. Look. Look. Please. Please. On a point, on a point of order, Ken Corley. Yes. On a point of order, Ken Corley, I, I really need to put on the record of the doll um, that what we see here uh, is a party that really just can't handle honest democratic okay. debate. They no, won't answer questions. It's not a point, on a point of order. order. Thank you. This is a, this is a no. government who can't deal no. with the fact that you've made a decision to increase the Deputy Doherty, you're out of order. The leader's questions. Your leader has posed the question. You're not the leader yet. Now, Sorry, Deputy. Yeah, the Taoiseach made no. a point of order and questioned the democratic capacities or ability of this party. I might remind the Taoiseach on the last occasion that we went to the polls, this party and these benches secured more votes than your own. Right. We are Thank perfectly you. entitled you, to represent the people that we represent and to point, do so robustly. That is at the heart Thank of you. democratic yeah. debate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah.